Squad is Quads and welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at the AKK Ultra Long Range TX 5000 AC. This is a beast of a VTX, kindly sent to me by AKK for review. Now this video, we're not going to show any flight footage, we're just going to have a look at the spec, what the potential applications of it are and how we are going to test it moving forwards. So let's take a look at the spec first of all. And this is a 5 watt video transmission system running on 5.8 gigahertz. It has 96 channels, includes smart audio, OSD, and is compatible between 14.6 and 28 volts. Inside the box, we've got the video transmission system itself. We've got a wiring harness or wiring loom. We have a pigtail to connect your antenna to and we have the instructions as well. Now AKK did also send me a antenna. I don't know if that comes with this when you buy it so please do check the website just to confirm before you make your purchase. Features wise well like I say we have power up to 5 watt and it steps up in 25, 200, 500, 1 watt, 3 watts and 5 watts. We've got 96 channels. We've got an LED so that you can change it if you don't have smart audio, if you don't want to wire up smart audio. The LED will help you to change the features with the buttons. And obviously we've got the instruction manual which tells you how to do all that. And that is what is included. So who is this good for? The obvious choice for who would benefit most from this, you would think would be drone pilots and people who fly FPV wings or FPV, any sort of FPV air aircraft really, similar to the Cub that I fly. And those would be the main people that this would be aimed at. However, I've had an epiphany and I believe where this was gonna really, really shine is in penetration as opposed to, I mean, sure, it's going to be incredible for range, but as we mentioned on a previous video, range is a bit of an issue these days because of how many authorities have clamped down on it. So I think penetration is where this is going to become king and where penetration is really needed is on things like RC crawlers, which many people are now FPV in. Now, currently, I don't have an RC crawler that I can FPV this on. I may be able to hook it up to some other RC craft that I've got, but I'll have to take a look at that. I think the other thing as well would be um, boats, again, because you're so low down, this would be beneficial for that. But I think I think rock crawlers, RC rock crawlers, would really benefit because they're in the deep under, undergrowth. You're quite often going to be in a woods where, you know, it's, it's quite dense with trees and things. So although initially you look at it and you think, yep, perfect for drones, perfect for wings, perfect for long range, it does I think offer a lot more than that. Now, how am I going to test this? Well, it's a bit difficult because in the UK, the maximum power output without a ham license is 25 milliwatts. This is five watts. So in the UK, I'm going to struggle to legally test this to its maximum. However, if I was to pop out of the UK for a video, make the video, and then return and edit the video to a territory that doesn't have restrictions and regulations on how many watts you can have on your video transmission system. That would be one thing. Another thing would be, if I can get hold of a thermal scope, I can also check on how much power and heat it puts out on each setting. So that's what we're gonna look at for the future of the channel and for the future of this. I am gonna leave a link down below. This thing, I think, on paper, has incredible potential. I'm going to have to test it. I'm going to have to test it a little bit cleverly. Um, and I'm going to have to test it in different ways. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it on a drone. And then I'm going to elope out of the UK territory into a different territory where regulations are not as strict to test it. And then hop back and edit the video and put it together. So it may take a little while for me to do that. But I wanted to bring you this now and show you this and talk about this now because I think it's got really good potential. 
And even if you're not flying long range, if you do have a ham license and you can use its maximum power and you just want, dare I say, ultra penetration, then I think this is probably gonna give you a lot of penetration. It's gonna be incredibly interesting to see where this takes us, how it takes us there, and what the results of that journey is. But we're gonna do that together. So for now, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know if you've tried AKK's 10 watt, because I haven't, VTX, in the comments below. Or let me know if this is something that you think you would make benefit of in the comments below. And until then, I'll see you next time.